Andrew's having a haircut. Elsha's doing it, but first, but she's decided to play with some pants instead. Oi! I'm moving this into the hallway. Cracking the environment. So the background could be nicer rather than just some Oh, no. Hi, 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 the beer box. At least it's not Corona. <laughs> right, where am I placing this? Because the time lapse is happening. Right, you're going on the bookshelf. There we go. Enjoy! This is good content. Product in his hair, bear in mind. So that could be a lot worse. I yeah, I do think it, there should be a straight line there, and it should just be a bowl cut. Personally, it's not. It's not bad. Look, just think of it with a bit of product in it, or just wear a hat. Now we're coming into summer. This is my hair. It's ha I now I know what hairdressers are doing when they do this at the end. They're just covering up. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, just a bit of product. It'd be spot on. <laughs> I picked this up from Dunelm a little while ago and I'm going to open it up now. But basically that chair that was over there, well this one here, it's quite bulky and every time I need to go into the drawer, the chair's always getting in the way and now I've got a little puff thing that can sit there and when I get ready over there I can just slide over there rather than sitting on the end of my bed, which I'm partially breaking. It was £29. I think it's like a, a velvety thing and it's got a bit of gold there which goes with them. Um, like I love the chair which is quite annoying but the fact that that can just be pushed underneath there just makes things a little bit easier I guess. Now I think it looks weird. Why does it look weird? Not sure on the little poof situation. Poof situation. So I've put the chair back and it's it's down, the little poof thing is down here. But I think it'll serve purpose somewhere. It's just, I can't go to town on this room just yet. You're really wonky. It was only 29 pound from, from Dunelm. And it's really, really good quality. And I know that I'll go in this room, just need to sort out what I'm gonna do with the chair. But anyway, on to more exciting things. I'm going to sort this ASOS order thing out because I need to send the bits back that don't work out <laughs> um, so I have money. So let's just get into it shall we? I don't really have any scissors. What could I use? Where are some tweezers? These are disgusting. <laughs> But I feel like all this skin is just like popping out and I can feel my, my fanny hairs poking through so I'm going to try and not get too close. So I replaced this which is still Yes 2 but that's the Ultra Hydrating Micellar Cleansing Water. This is Blemish Fighting Micellar Cleansing Water. It's the tomato one. I've had the, I went with this one because I've had the face mask before and it was really really nice. So I've replaced it with this one. That was like $6.99, $5.99, and it lasts for ages, so good stuff. Let's start with these. Puma Essentials Black Sweat Pant. They're very soft, but why is it that the bigger you go, the longer things get? I'm not gonna be wearing this, am I? Oh, I don't like them, and they're fluffy inside, and they're going down. Gross, not having them. They don't do anything for me. I start getting really depressed when stuff doesn't fit. Go for yourself, guys. Right, I've got a large. Am I a large, though? 
I think some of them, because they're in the sale, that was the only um, sizes they had. So this is from Noisy May. Oh, this is shiny material. Not sure how I feel about that. See, I have this problem as well. Like, what is this? Are you supposed to pull them all the way up to here? Because I don't fucking think so. What the fuck is this? So I got these because I wanted to be that person. The little poppers on the side. This is a size large, by the way. Size large. And I'm getting this. So much room here. What the fuck is this? I've got this little popper detail but what the fuck is this even if oh it feels so unattractive it, it do you know what it's not necessarily like you could look at this and be like what are you talking about grace like they look all right this not okay and no this looks like it doesn't fit when you get lines like that size large large actually go suck your mum that's not even funny and this is the thing right I'm like the sh my shape is like a proper British woman and I feel like I can't buy stuff from stuff that I want to wear it's really hard to explain how can I explain it so my body shape, I'm pear shaped right, I've got a big bum and I've got like quite, you know, quite big legs. I'm not, I'm not the, not the skinniest of folk, um, although my, my tan is making me look quite slender to a certain degree, but you know, I'm like my smallest bit is here and then I go out like this and then like I feel like European, um, like high street stores, they literally just cater for the European body, very like up and down. And so when I want to wear shit like this, it's for legs that literally are just up and down. And I'm not shaming or like, pit, like having a go at that body type because it's a nice body type. Like I like my body, it's just annoying that I, actually that's a lie, I really don't like my body, but you know just when just no okay try and love yourself grace slowly losing brain cells here but anyway just get really pissed off so i'm really desperate for joggers and this clearly isn't working out is it anyway yeah uh, oh hello puma what the fuck is this puma wide leg trousers with split in black large i must have, i'm not gonna lie i must have been high ordering this stuff oh my god what was i thinking oh these aren't this is not okay first of all these are a large and they're tight. A large and there's a freaking hole in it. What's going on? And the material is not flattering. It's a shiny material which is highlighting the biggest part of my body. So looks like we're not gonna have any joggers guys. This is ridiculous. I'm getting really fucking angry. Right, this was the last one, but that's going to be dog shit. Right, last pair. Noisy May, again. Oh, I'm so angry. Just want some joggers. Right, so these have a mark on them. That's cool. Right, size large, and they're just like a wide leg. Jersey, kind of. Right, these might be alright. Oh, no. Like, what the hell? They don't even have pockets for our, like combat ones. I'm really, I don't know, I'm really fussy. 
like this is this is not doing any favours for me and if I don't feel comfortable in something I'm not going to wear it like no no look the ankle swingers this is really depressing right so I tried on let's do a count shall we one two three four joggers four joggers and none of them fit i got another stripy t-shirt i got this off we go i think i'm gonna send this back but i've always wanted a cropped cardigan i think they're fucking awesome and they only had this one in large so i should not be trying this on the fake tan but really wanted a cropped cardi and according to ASOS this was the last one for me I just saw saw myself wearing this with some joggers and just just being like it's oversized you can wear this with some jeans cool I'm keeping that not, not what I needed, but it worked out. What is this? Oh, it's a UK 10. And it's really slouchy. So basically everything that I didn't need, I'm keeping. There's only two things, but still. All of these can actually go and suck them on, quite frankly. And I'm not even putting them back in the packaging because They've annoyed me. Is that really bad? It's not Ace's fault. I'm just so angry. Right, so currently out with the girls, taking them for a little run around because they can only do so much in the garden. And it's the first time I've left the house in, well, I can't really remember. We've been out for yeah, 32 minutes. They are appreciating the run around because we can only do so much in the garden. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Your teeth need to clean. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, Andrew's haircut. Haven't showed off yet. It could have been a lot worse. I think Elf should be very chuffed. I think it's Peaky Blinders-esque. I think it's actually really good. I'm not angry. I saw a girl that I, well, a girl that I follow on Instagram. She was saying how like, how many people on Sunday were like sharing all the barbecues that they were having and inviting friends around and and all that and she was like you know who you are you don't even realize how many people you're putting at risk by doing what you're doing just because it's sunny outside be sensible we're on our way home now the girls are relatively tired out um, and that's us done for the day. And I'm gonna go home and eat chocolate. No, I'm not. We're going to boot camp. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. All right, see you at home. I've decided to do um, Norwich Fitness Academy boot camp live tonight with Kat and James. I'm set up with 10 kilograms and I normally only use eight. And then I've got this to work off of. Because I have to do burpees, which I suck at, I'm using this as a prop. So I'm like, I jump down at an angle. So I'm, I'm hoping that'll help. But I'm just worried about that big fella doing a squat and press with that. I'm using a bag of soil. Are you joining in? Oh,
yeah so it's like 11 <laughs> and um, I'm kind of getting in a routine but it's taking time I think you can't go from you know waking up at 12 and staying up really late till like 3 in the morning and then expect to like get up at 7 so all in good time um I would say part of my routine so far is making the bed so I've got up I've made the bed Andrew's brought me a coffee which is really lovely um and now I'm just going to like had a had a shower last night so I'm just going to take a little bit of tan off my face which I put on last night um and then I'm going to play around with some products that Helen gave me um a bit of makeup stuff um and see how we get on sound fun let's do it so does this angle work for everyone i think it it, it kind of does do i really want to be like this is like the worst angle of you coming up at me but i've got my little tripod i'm on like a really small um windsor wind windsor oh my god windowsill oh my god this is my brain cells dying off so this is the best angle i can work with right now so i'm just going to skim through my my cleaning face routine again brain cells still dying and then i'll speed that up and then we will look at these products youtuber as possible but i've cleansed i've toned and i've moisturized so now we're going to move on to makeup <laughs> i can't afford primer i think it's too expensive <laughs> well it's not but i can't like i spend my money on foundation so i my foundation that i use is bare minerals that's about that's in the 20s i think it's like i tend to get it on offer so it's like 23 quid but if I miss an offer, it's like ends up being 29. So for me, that's that's a lot of money. And that's like my high quality product for my face. And like that's done. So when I think of adding like a primer on top of that, you know, uh, a setting spray and all of that, I just, I just go like, no, I'm not doing that. And other than that, I just end up using just stuff that I haven't used in my... Um, in my drawer over the years so if i fancy putting blush on i'll just find one and i'll use it i'm just not a makeup -y person until now so helen bless her soul bless her sweet ginger soul gave me um, i'm not sure if you saw in the last daily vlog she gave me a care package which was the sweetest thing ever and it consisted of quite a few bits from makeup obsession i'm 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 one of the people in their friend group that obviously fake tans and and it's these kind of colors and i've used these um i did a full face of makeup yesterday well not a full face but for me you know put makeup on um and i really really like this brand i really do i think it's great they're just foundation sticks i want to see how much they are because I will want to repurchase them once they've gone and the sticks are quite long it'll take a while for them to finish especially if you're using a couple of shades um so these six pound each six pounds and it's to do with revolution high, high street brand budget brand i don't know what you want to call them but i've used all of them they are quite creamy but i put a little bit of powder on top and i think they're great six quid so what do we start with what does a, a proper beauty person start with they start with a primer so we have gone in with smashbox and i think it's all right I'm having period skin at the moment i also haven't brushed my teeth yet because i'm having a coffee i also got this which is <clears throat> it's like a primer primer water and guys <laughs> i've got my beauty blender 
I'm gonna see what this is all about. Wet in your ble beauty blender. Okay, I shouldn't have done that first. I'm gonna go in with me sticks. Light stuff there. Right, I think this is too light. A bit down there, a little bit there. That's correct, isn't it? Dark one, dark one. And then I'm just gonna work them in. I've got a third one. And I might, if I'm not happy with the coverage or the colour, I'm going to go in with this one and just kind of pop it in areas because it's an in-between colour. Really trying to not make this be so long. Right, where is that trusty, trusty one that's in between? Get rid of the redness. I also really like the packaging. Well done, Revolution. I'm also going to be doing a workout later, so I don't want to pile it on. There's no point. I'm just using that what was left on my brush and a little bit that was in there. Just to kind of like set it, I suppose. And then you can go in with powder contouring or whatever. I think because my skin has just come off, I'm going to go in with a little, it's like a little buffing brush. How to do your makeup. Grey style. Oh, the hairline is the worst. Just kind of. <laughs> oh Christ. So now I've got this. The highlight and contour palette. Let's give this a little whack. I've got a massive forehead, so let's try and make it go away. So I've done that. I've only used, I think you're supposed to use multiple colours to try and like contour your face. But I just bronzing it. I used Bay, we all know that one. I'm not, I don't, I don't really do highlighters. Now moving into blush. Now, she gave you this one. Um, it's a Kat Von D. Never had anything Kat Von D before, but I love the packaging. It's blush, it's in like um rose. I think this will take a, a good while to use up, so if it does cost a lot of money and I like it, I will repurchase it. But my colour is peony, which is my favourite flower, so it's meant to be. I like my blush quite high. I'm not sure whether that's good for my face or not. I don't really need to use blush because I've already got really red cheeks, which I try and mask so that I can do my own blush and place what I want. Again, I think, see, so yeah, I pull it up like it's bronzer, but I guess I kind of use it like a highlighter as well. If it's just a bit too much, just turn it down. I'm putting freckles over the top of it, so it should kind of... But for someone that's very, like, not a makeup y person. I think I've done a cracking job. Now, eyebrows. Every time I do my eyebrows, I do them differently. So, let's see what we're going to do today. I think what I've been doing is going in with like. So, I bought a load of these off of Amazon. I'm. It's Rimmel, and I've properly used a pencil sharpener on this one because my other sharpeners broke and I can't get another one so um I was going to continue to sharpen this one but I thought no I'm actually just going to use it for my eyebrows so just do strokes I try not to overthink it as much as I am a bit OCD about things about trying to get things perfect first time I've got to stop that so obviously you can see that's really crap but I don't care for right now. Like I'm even I'm not even doing like hair strokes, I'm just dragging it across. Okay, I'm doing strokes now. Just roughly filling them in because then I'm just gonna go through it with a brush and it all kind of blends it out. But for me, what I've been told is that I need more hair here and more hair up here, so those are the places that I focus on. And the thing is I, I also go in with concealer. Is the colour a bit warm? Yes it is, but this is what I'm using. Just dabbing. Not a lot. And carving out a shape. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's that bad for a day of where you don't really want to wear any makeup. 
I think it's all right. And then, and then another thing I like to do is like, this is when I when I use powder, I I use like brushes like this, obviously. And because I think the colour's a bit too warm, I'll go in with a brush that's already got a bit of powder on it and go over my eyebrows because this has given you a line to work with and it softens that line as well. This is the collection, collection 2000, isn't it? Or is it just called collection? This is just a clear mascara. It's like a couple of quid. And then I'll just push those, those hairs down, push those hairs down. I've got a spot in my eyebrow there, so we're just gonna ignore that. Lastly, freckles. So what I like to do, if my if my pencil is looking a bit blunt, pardon me, put some really hard ones in there as a base and then work around it. I guess it's like the harder you press down, I just go in and like, that looks like a big freckle, right? Or a mole, I'll just put little ones around it. Don't be precise. And don't make them too perfect because freckles aren't perfect. Let's just go in there. Like I'm not even looking at my face, I'm looking out the window. Right, I haven't got long left on this memory card, but I've just finished off my freckles. I do a signature one there and one that mirrors it underneath. But anyway, we're gonna finish with this, which is the Bare Minerals Dewy Mist. Thank you so much, Alan. Just gonna spray my face. Was that overkill? Probably, but I've never had a setting spray before, so I'm lathering it up. Thank you for watching. And now to the outro. I've just finished editing done a little bit of housework but just been like sorting the fridge and doing bits like that and then i've just spent the rest of my day um editing had a bit of a few problems with my computer but i've just been upstairs on the bed editing with a bit of the simpsons on which has been quite nice i've also put in a de-stress basically it's a nils yard de-stress oil and i've put it in there and because i'm coming to the end of my period it's 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 not the kindest so i hope these last couple of days have been fun to watch andrew's hair is fantastic elsh did a fantastic job i think considering she's not a barber yes i did my makeup again but i couldn't not share it with you because helen gifted me some really lovely products and I just wanted to try them out with you and see what it was all about really and I've been wearing the makeup let's excuse my fringe because it is growing out I've been wearing it for a good couple of hours now and the prime is clearly doing something the setting spray has clearly done something and considering I have been you know up and down the stairs it's been really hot today um, I have been sweating quite a bit it's, it's stayed in place. So I'm pretty bloody chuffed. I think that's it for makeup going forward. I plan on doing uh, a get to know me in the next daily vlog. And I'm thinking of just doing some quite cool, like segmenty things. Uh, doing the ASOS haul was kind of fun, a, a little bit triggering to edit. And obviously I'm not really gonna be buying things but I am going to have like a, a sit down tonight and plan what I want to share with you what I think will be beneficial for you to know what will be fun for me to do and you've given me so many suggestions as it is that have kind of like sparked a little bit of creativity in me so I just need to have a little think I feel like I'm settling into a routine like if I wake up late that's fine but I make sure I then do something productive straight away. So Andrew will bring me up a coffee, I'll sit up and I'll make sure I get out of bed, make the bed, then I'll sit down and get ready or I'll have a shower or do something along those lines and that kind of kick starts my day. Okay, I'm not waking up at 5.30 like I used to um, on a normal day for me. Um, I'm not working, so obviously that's not pushing me into a routine. However, doing just the simplest of tasks of getting out of bed and making your bed as cliche as it sounds 
it does put your head in a good place. So I then know to take my tablets, like that's a really important thing to establish in my routine. Um, and today I like, I put clothes on that weren't joggers. Okay, I'm really trying to find a pair of joggers. Um, just for like dog walking and things like that. I don't want to keep wearing gym gear because I just don't want to. Leggings are tight, I want to wear something quite free flowing. Uh, it's spring now, summery kind of time, so those are the, the types of clothing I want to wear. Any suggestions on the clothing front? I've had loads on Instagram that I still haven't got back to people about, but Mis Misguided has come up loads. Um, and funnily enough, the only pair of joggers I have are Misguided, but they were like the Playboy, you know, Misguided cross with Playboy uh, collaboration, I should have said. They did a collaboration with Playboy and um, I got them because they were high-waisted and I like bunnies. I've got a bunny, it's fine. Um, and I was like, right, okay, go to Misguided again, Misguided again, let's have a little look. And lo and behold, they had another Playboy pair of joggers, but instead it's got Playboy on the bum and a, bit, a little pink bunny and they're high-waisted. So I'm just gonna rock them, they should be fine. And with the suggestions that you guys have been giving me, I'll go and get another pair when I find a pair in my size. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. This is my little tent that I wear uh, in the summers as well. So I'm thinking of getting another one of these off of eBay, but a lot of people's accounts on eBay have been set to away or something like that. So yeah, I'm not sure whether I w where I would find these, but this is from eBay and it was like six quid. So. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of aiming towards, but it's finding it. Maybe I'll give Amazon a go. I hope you're enjoying these. Please subscribe. I'm gonna push that one out there. Please subscribe. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to, how you, you're getting on in this weird little crisis we're, we're um, experiencing. I live next door to NHS workers, so I'm very conscious about like how loud I'm being and the dogs barking and things like that because I know that they do night shifts. Um, but a few weeks ago we gave them a big old clap. So um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. I hope you are all keeping safe and well and being sensible. I know that the weather's really wonderful and lovely at the moment, but please be sensible. Don't go out and socialize and invite friends around for barbecues. Now's not the time. Um, have a virtual barbecue. That's just as fun. <laughs> but sending you all my love as always, and I shall see you on Friday. Bye bye.